Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to be unboxing, cooking, eating, and reviewing this Sopaco Penne with Vegetable Sausage Ration. Stick around for this ration review. Hi, my name is Dan and welcome to DC Outdoors. If this is your first time here and you like outdoor adventure videos, gear reviews, and other outdoor related stuff, well please get started by clicking the subscribe, the like, and the bell notification button so you don't miss anything. Well, let's get on with this week's ration review. Make sure you keep watching for this week's DC Outdoors Tip of the Week. You won't want to miss it. Okay folks, so this is the Sapaco ration. Um, I showed you guys that I got a case of these guys back there before Christmas and we had uh, unboxed the case. Anyways, today the Snack Squad here has chosen to try the penne with vegetable sausage ration. Um, again, this is the reduced sodium menu. But before I open this up, I also want to show you guys this really cool knife that I got. So I want to thank Ray from the channel called World's Fastest Tube for this very cool knife. I got to meet up with Ray a few weeks ago. Um, I had won this knife as a prize off of his channel for commenting and, and supporting his channel. Um, he, this is a handmade knife. You can see that it's got Ray's tag on it there and his tag on it there and it's got a nice little C on it here too for Ray but Lucky anyways Ray's. this cool knife look at that guy awesome knife made out of a really nice shed really cool little blade very cool piece so I'm really appreciative of this thank you so much Ray I think this is going to be something that's going to be displayed on the mantle by the fireplace but I wanted to show everybody and uh, just say thank you again for this really, really, really cool piece. Thank you. This might be the only time that I use this, but I am going to open up the ration bag and we'll take a look and see what we got. All right, so as I've showed you guys before, these ones are double bag, so they're packaged and then they're packaged in another bag. All right, so that must be the main. We have some crackers. We have the flameless ration heater. We have the toaster pastry. An apple jelly. Another apple jelly. Tootsie roll. And the accessory pack. And then also inside here, you have the little nutritional information that's used for the main. So let's take a look at what's in the accessory pack. So inside here, looks like you got a paper napkin. You got some salt-free seasoning. Little flavor enhancer, pack of pepper, and a fairly solid spoon. Let's cook up the main and get started. Okay, well we're two for two on these MRE heaters not working, so we're just gonna cook it in the pan of water. While we finish off with cooking the main, let's open up the sides. Crackers are interesting. You get basically the equivalent of eight saltines but they're all connected together oh i just made a ginormous mess in breaking them apart but you basically get crackers that are kind of like together so these are incredibly crumbly as you can see here but that being said i'll probably put some jam on them tootsie roll here for dessert oh this one is usually when i get tootsie rolls i'm used to them being um, fairly dry and kind of hard and disgusting. This one's really soft. I don't know if that's a bad thing or not, but man, I can almost, I can't even get it out of the paper. Like, I don't know how that melted so much. Like, I don't even think that that's consumable, which is a bummer. Toaster pastry. Basically got pop tarts. There's two of them, but they're like incredibly stuck together so I'll probably just leave them stuck together and then this is the main it smells fairly good there we go you guys know how much I love taking MREs or backpacking meals out in the woods to be used along on my camping fishing and hunting adventures but they can be costly. So instead of, of always eating those meals, consider using your leftovers and your food dehydrator to turn them into some lightweight meals that you can reconstitute while out in the field.
All right, well, let's get back to our review. You can sure tell that they're low sodium. Put a little bit of the, whatever they call it, salt-free seasoning. Mix that in there. You guys want some pepper too? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. A lot of vegetables in there. It looks like you got some spinach and stuff or something. Oh, I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Um, this pop tart um thing, um, we can probably put the apple jam inside of it. Want to put some apple jam on a pop tart? Could be good. Like, let's get crazy. Who wants to get crazy? Who wants apple jelly on their pop tart? Oh, a little bit sure. Apple jelly is very runny. Who wants to try that? Oh. Vegetarian sausage crumble. 260 calories in the pouch. All right, so we just finished off eating that Sapaco ration. So once again, that one was penne with vegetable sausage crumbles in spicy sauce. Uh, overall, we probably rate this entire ration as maybe a four out of 10. Um, I guess I'll start with what we liked. Um, so we liked the fact that it comes with those Pop-Tarts. Those are fairly bomb proof. They're a really good treat. And I'm sure that that would be a really good pick me up uh, for a day out in the field. I also didn't mind the apple jelly. I mean, it was really watery, uh, but it had some really good flavors, nice and sweet, so I really didn't mind that. And I also didn't really mind the crackers too much. I mean, they were a little bit stale, a little bit crumbly, but they, they do hold up probably better than the packaged uh, hamburger buns that are inside those Canadian military rations. So I didn't mind the crackers too much, but for the things that we didn't like, um, that uh, Tootsie Roll, as I showed you, was absolutely melted. So I, I don't know if that's uh, just a, a me issue or how this was handled or cared for, but that was a bit disappointing. It was disappointing that the flameless ration heater uh, did not work. So um, that's two for two that haven't worked, which again is pretty disappointing. Um, and you know, the main itself uh, wasn't that great. It was low flavor. I know these things are low sodium, but along with that, I found it low flavor, wasn't very spicy at all, and there's really just nothing memorable about the main um, at all. And then, you know, the, the fourth thing that's a bit of a bummer is there's no beverage of any kind. You don't, you don't get a coffee, you don't get tea, you don't get a cold drink, nothing. So a bit disappointing in that regard. So I could see me taking this out to the field, but I'll certainly have to remember to bring along. Uh, the sweet and creamy coffee or some tea bags or something to get like I said overall um, not thoroughly happy with these Sapaco rations um, I hope that they start to get better so far I'm, to be honest pretty disappointed I do want to stop though again and say thank you uh, to Ray for this uh, beautiful knife again if you haven't checked out Ray's channel you'll find him called world's fastest tube and I'm going to include a link above me as well as a link down in the description uh, Ray's trying to grow his channel, so I'd really appreciate it if you'd stop by his channel and uh, tell him that I sent you. Um, this knife is going to be something that I keep around with me for years and to come. It's absolutely beautiful piece that's, like I said, going to be a part of my mantle display. So thank you very much, Ray, for this beautiful knife. The last thing that I want to remind everybody about is that I am uh, marching towards 500 subscribers, and once I hit 500 subscribers, I'm going to be launching a contest. So I want to thank all of my subscribers who've been with me a while, and I want to welcome aboard all of the new subscribers that have come to the channel. Um, once I hit 500 subscribers, I am going to be giving away a DC Outdoors toque and some decals and some other cool stuff to build out a really great bundle. So the faster we get to 500, the faster I'm going to launch the contest and show you what we're all giving away. So I uh, really appreciate everybody's support in that regard. Um, but again, I guess the last thing to mention is if this was your first time here and you like outdoor adventure videos, gear reviews, and other outdoor related stuff, well please hit that subscribe, the like, and the bell notification button so you don't miss anything. Until next time, we'll see you outdoors.